congratulations on this incredible collaboration. Lauren, how did this how did this song come to come to exist? Well, it was a song that we had already been writing for the record, and then um, our manager had been technically <laughs> sniffing about trying to see if maybe the Cure were going to tour again, and maybe we could try and get a support slot or something. So he was like, <laughs> "I wonder if you could somebody could put me in touch. How this would how this would happen? How would we ask for this?" And then he got in touch with Robert and. The conversations kind of started from there um, and then we sent a bunch of songs over and you were kind enough to listen to them and we had to figure out where where we might be able to collaborate and where there would be space to do something really interesting and special and hopefully that's what we did um i, I know that what what the cure mean to you as a as mm. a band and lauren i mean i know what it means to what the band means to you and robert means to you as a human being that's been documented you know both on the internet and deleted <laughs> off the internet I, I know that this must have been a huge moment were you nervous kind of waiting for for a response to some degree sorry just to ask that question while you're present robert but. <laughs> I, I, I don't even it's you know it's it's weird to even answer a question like this in the presence of robert but i know i'm just going to be honest <laughs> and yeah. say it's not going to be awkward at all genuinely I, I close your ears, more, robert. <laughs> right close your ears but um i wouldn't be in a band if it wasn't for disintegration and pornography they're the two two the greatest albums of all time so when robert got back to us and said that he was interested in collaborating we we thought that it would be we never truly thought that it would come to fruition, you know? Mm. And this is no word of a lie. After like it had gone quiet for a little while, we get this demo out of the blue on Halloween, no less. What? From Robert. What? <laughs> Delivery Robert singing. or just pure chance? Just pure chance. <laughs> no, I've I waited and waited and waited. <laughs> <laughs> and it was everything that we hoped it would be and more yeah. and, and yeah. so the process continued. I mean, I, I've only done things with people that I really like a lot, you know. So, yeah. so unfortunately, it's it's one of the hardest things that saying no to people because sometimes there are people send me stuff and, and and I do really like it and I like them, but I think this isn't going to work. In fact, there was a moment like with churches when I couldn't. I mean, I said to them, I can't really see how I can fit into this because, like you said, when I started singing, that you went, "Whoa." I mean, I did the same. I started singing along. I thought, I was thinking, no, that's like, you know. So well, just to be very clear, my wall was very different to your wall. My wall was like, yes. Your wall was like, hmm. I just want to make sure that we clear our woes up. That I can clear up. My woe was very happy woe. Okay, my my woe was like I felt I was getting in the way because it's you know it's it, it is um it's one of those things. I think the collaborations that I've done in the past have, made, have been, very few of them. I can't really think of the top of my head have been um collaborative in the sense that there's someone else singing with me so it's more of a duet it's like a kind of old-fashioned sort of way of, 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 of doing things so. martin can you best describe that experience of what that felt like when you when you heard lauren and robert together on the same the same track and you got it in the pocket it was the same it was it was like a more intense version of the electricity that i heard the first time i heard lauren singing on like one of our beats it was like i'd gone right back to the first day of being in a band again and I'd like it was that feeling bottled up and intensified. But when I I, I know it's so, it's so hard for me to speak. I I'm so embarrassed to say it in front of Robert. But you can't I can't un, under like overstate how much of an influence the Cure are on my music, on me as a producer and me as a writer. And so that one moment was it was emotional, and it was really intense. And then after a few lessons, I was like able to disconnect a little bit but at first it wasn't wasn't easy <laughs> you know I, I know that there's been a lot of talk robert about um this long-awaited new album and, and last year you, you popped your head up as well and talked about some maybe some solo work even though you mentioned before you've always been against it and i just want to wonder what the lay of the land is with q right now i'm sure churches won't mind me asking i'll get done in if i don't ask the question yeah well yeah i, I mean probably in about six weeks time i'll be able to say when everything's coming out and what we're doing next year and everything. So it's, it's on that point where I'm, I'm finishing up stuff. The reason I was doing something on my own was for exactly the same reason I was doing collaborators. I, I've always wanted to do an hour's worth of noise and I didn't want it like the, the cure. You wait 10 years and then we bring out an album that's just like noise. It was like, no, you know, I mean, apart from the, 
that that was me doing the rest of the band. That no was like a band no. So um, so I've been I've been do, just having fun with that really. And so that we were doing two albums, and one one of them's very very doom and gloom, and the other one isn't. And and um, they they're both very close to being. I just have to decide who's going to mix them. That's really all I've got left to do. So, yeah. Really exciting update. Thank you for that. And churches, this album. It's, I mean, I'm, I couldn't be more excited about this record. Um, you know, and 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 you know everything I've heard. Congratulations. I know you have a song right now, which is has an important message and is actually reaching a lot of people and getting a lot of support out here, in particular in America as well. So, you know, the idea of what this album represents to you now, coming off the back of the last twelve months and seeing you know a lot of stuff tip upside down, some stuff landing on the right side. Other stuff still scattered in disarray. Do you feel like you 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 captured that to the best of your ability? Do you feel like this is a record of, of the times as opposed to just your own internal feelings? I don't know. We were talking about this recently that we had the album title before we started writing, which we've never had before. Wow. And it's weird to think because it was a band name that we didn't use. Uh, we had like a big list of band names, some really terrible uh, so every time someone complains <laughs> about the actual band name, I'm like, it could be fucking worse, guys. It could be a lot worse. Um, but yeah, so we had this idea like to write off of that. And I do wonder what it would have sounded like if we hadn't all lived through this thing that we've all had to live through. Um, mm. And I do think, yeah, being locked inside with your own thoughts and nowhere to go and nothing to distract you from that is a horrible thing, but a good, a good writing workshop once you survive it you're like oh that was probably good to not be able to leave when i got uncomfortable but mm. um i don't know i think for me the thing that the only thing i've ever regretted about anything we've ever done is if it doesn't feel like it's been fully honest or that you were per performing something rather than doing it and i think mm. this one i'm like it's honest for better or worse well, you have tour dates to look forward to, and I was thrilled to see them get announced, and I'm looking forward to everything that comes from both bands, and uh, I appreciate you. Yeah.